The first one let's take a close look at is percent. Okay. Um, percent again is used when um, whatever you're talking about is a pretty high concentration. And so mass percent could be mass to mass ratio or mass volume ratio, as I said. An example of something that's that's um, uh, defined this way would be isopropyl alcohol. You can buy different isopropyl alcohol. Sometimes it's called rubbing alcohol. You can get 70%, 75%, 90%, you know, at the drugstore. Um, but this particular one is, let's say, 70% isopropyl alcohol. And what that means is, is that there's 70 grams of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, um, per 100 grams of the solution. Okay? Um, and in this case, um, it's an aqueous solution. And so you could use that information, the fact that it's a 70% solution, to answer this question, how many grams of isopropyl alcohol are in 300 grams of this solution? Well, um, there's lots of different ways of doing it. You can recognize, you know, percent of, of is, is in math means times. So you could be 70% times 300 to figure it out. Or you could use um, kind of the dimensional analysis approach where you start with what's given, which is 300 grams of this solution. I always abbreviate solution that way. If it looks weird, that's how I learned it when I was 18 years old. Um, from my chemistry teacher, but anyways, 300 grams of solution is what's given, and the concentration of this solution is um, 70 grams of alcohol per 100 grams of solution, and so the gram of solution unit cancels, and so it's just 300 times 70 divided by 100, and that equals 210 grams of alcohol. In this case, it's isopropyl alcohol in 300 grams of the solution. So that's just a way of representing um, a concentration of a particular solution when it's a pretty concentrated solution we use percent and then um, that's what it means and this is how we can use it in a conversion type problem to get information, um, detailed information about the solute in that particular solution.